Good evening. Oh, great to see all of you here tonight as we gather together for worship. And, uh, boy, are you just a little, a little overwhelmed by all this news that we've been barraged with, bombarded with these last few days with all that? Uh, it's just a little overwhelming, almost seems like. But, uh, you know, from the news that the girls' high school uh, Final Fours, our Napoleon girls are going down there, that the, the crowds aren't able to go, only uh, some limited family members. Today we found out that the uh, Nationals, uh, Lutheran National Basketball Tournament for the kids in Velpo, that that was canceled uh, as well. And so you just kind of, boy, just uh, one thing after the next, but can you really think of a better place to be than here in God's house? Uh, to be reminded that this is where we find our true source of comfort, true source of hope. Uh, we're able to set aside all that junk that's going on out there and be reminded that Jesus is indeed the light of the world. Jesus is the hope that we need in all situations that come our way. And, and so because he's the hope, you know, we gather together for worship. Uh, again, not to, to push too much stuff with this, but to share that we're, we're trying to uh, care for you as well and take care of things. A couple things we're going to be doing just so you are aware of that. Uh, some people are very uncomfortable shaking hands. That's okay. If you don't feel like it, that's all right. Just, you can do the fist bump, elbow, whatever you'd like to do, uh, salute or whatever, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Kids will probably just stick with that fist bump too, uh, again, to make it as easy as possible. And, and I'd, I'd like to encourage you, you know, bef before you leave, make your way into the bathroom. Wash your hands if you have hand sanitizer. Go ahead and use it. Uh, just that way, you don't wait till you get home because, boy, all this talk, I never realized how many times I touch my face. And, and so that's just another way to keep it. And as you leave, uh, the natural tendency is hit the crash bar. There's a lot of germs there. So just go ahead and just, uh, it pushes out. So go ahead uh, and do that. Um, and then um, some, because uh, they're elderly with some of the, uh, uh, the conditions that you have, don't even necessarily feel comfortable uh, being in church. We, we'd love to have you here, but if, if you're in doubt, Stay home, listen on the radio, watch on the internet, that's available. Uh, we, we want to encourage you to feel comfortable as you're worshiping the Lord. Uh, now here comes the tough part, but uh, needs to be said. If, if you're not able to be here in person and worship, that's okay. We, we encourage you to do that. But just a reminder, uh, send your offering envelopes in or, or uh, do give online because, as a reminder, we, we need $25,000 a week for all the things that we do with the church and school. So uh, please keep that in mind for the help with that. Um, you may have noticed on the end the fellowship pads are missing. Someone was not playing a trick on you. That's uh, the thought with the passing back with all the germs that are, we're just going to temporarily uh, suspend that. And then we're going to do something a little bit different uh, with the offering. Uh, again, because with the hands, with that, the germs, we thought, well, we'll just have the uh, ushers at the back hold that when you leave. So don't forget when you leave. Uh, to go ahead and, and put your offering in there, just uh, one more layer of uh, safety for you. Um, also, if you feel a little uncomfortable, a little bit too close to people with some of that going on, there's plenty of room down front. <laughs> I'm kind of lonely up here, so, so feel free to come on down front. Uh, that'll, that'll be that. But again, um, just trying to do take some precaution. What's that? Uh, yeah, you sit right there. I'll have my eyes on you. Uh, but uh, with that, again, just trying to, to, to take uh, concern out of everything that is, uh, is going on and, and take those steps because we care. So, uh, but again, set that aside. Clear your mind. Why are we here? We're here to worship Jesus, right? So let's just do that. And let's begin with our opening hymn. 